Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tejano Traveler. I'm your host Wally and today we are in New Orleans in the center of it, in the heart of it, at Jackson Square. Well, there's plenty to do and see. You can hang out at Jackson Square, which is a nice plaza. It's got some benches you can sit around, some nature, some plants, some cool things to just hang around. It's got the awesome statue of Andrew Jackson with the cathedral in the background, which is a must. You absolutely have to take this picture if you're there, or else people are going to wonder if you even actually went there. But the Jackson Square is home to the St. Louis Cathedral. It's been there since, I think, the 1700s. It's pretty big. It's pretty clean. Once you go inside of it, I like the inside of it, but I kind of prefer the Mexico cathedrals. They're sort of dirtier and, like, they just have a different vibe. This seemed a bit too clean for me. But still, it's nice coming in here. Especially on a hot summer day and enjoying some of the AC. You get to see some of the decorations, some of the art. There's King Louis proclaiming something before becoming a saint. And I guess that's God up there in the tabernacle or something. But the ceiling's pretty high and it's all decorated and adorned. Here's a close-up of what stuff is supposed to look like. There's flags everywhere, I guess, commemorating the people in the French Empire or people who have been in charge of this cathedral and there is some great artwork plus the statue of St. Louis and the statue of Joan of Arc the two patron saints of France it's missing John the Baptist though but they got stained art which is cool and right next to it is the presbyter I hope I said that right. French is sometimes difficult for me to pronounce because it's got extra vowels and syllables and consonants. It just confuses me. But this museum was pretty cool. It's, the first floor is a Hurricane Katrina exhibit, which was a pretty horrible experience for the people of New Orleans. So some people don't really like to talk about it. So they made a museum to showcase some of the relics that were left over and to explain exactly why it happened and why it can't happen again. Those are Superdome seats. That's where a lot of the people went. And those are some things that they found floating around. It's a pretty intense um, exhibit, so it's not for the faint of heart. You will see death. You will see tragedy. The second floor is all about celebration, though. It's all about Mardi Gras and some of the colorful costumes and I love these restrooms because they're shaped like outhouses and then they have a lot of gold Mardi Gras has a lot of jewels and a lot of crowns and scepters and necklaces and it's kind of cool to see that you know they make new ones every single year because this is an important part of the culture so this exhibit showcases when it started, how it started, where it came from, where it's going, where it's been. So it's pretty cool to check out some of these, some of this cool artwork and craftsmanship that goes into some of the dresses and some of the local art that is made and some of the costumes that are made to celebrate this time of year. Plus some of the musical instruments that they use, especially the triangle. So here on the second floor, you can see what Mardi Gras is all about. Definitely something you should do if you are here so you can learn about this very important celebration that happens in New Orleans. And it's also cool looking at all the different suits like that seahorse suit. I would love to wear that. And the things that they throw during the parades. Anyways, that is Jackson Square for you. Hope you like. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.